Okay, so left hand one was your before swing. Right, okay. Again, setup wise, very, very good. There's nothing really sort yeah. of amazing wrong. Maybe a little bit tight in the grip, but we can't see that. No. And you know when it starts going a right. little bit wrong, tension levels will increase. Yeah. You said that you felt you were swinging the club back too far. You'd get to about here and it was perfect, okay? And then and the then fear of swinging too far, far, all you do now is just pick your... Your yeah, body's not right actually it. moving at all, yeah? No. So now when you get to here, the club looks very, very close to your head there. Yeah. It's all looked a bit tucked up and a bit cramped. Yeah. Compare that to this one here now. Same good backswing. Yeah. Keep turning. Look where that club gets yeah. now. Look at the difference in that backswing. Yeah. You've got far more space, space for your arms to swing. Yeah. Now then, look at the angles we start swinging this golf club back down. Okay, this one here now is coming back. Yeah. As I say, almost when your arm's sort of parallel to the ground, your left arm here, yeah. nearly, I mean, that would be kind of vertical. We're not far off that line no. there, okay? Whereas this one here now goes longer, but that's not a problem. Don't think about that no. too far. Look at the angle when your left arm gets parallel to the yeah, ground. It's flatter. But yeah, it's towards the golf it, yeah. ball, yeah? So we're actually getting yeah. a much more angled strike towards the golf yeah. ball. So now, once we put this line on here, towards yeah. the golf, your hands and arms basically work down that line. Like, yeah. Yeah? So you're swinging down on a good swing plane here. Whereas this, but if your arm's trying to swing on that line there now, you're yeah. like where the club's gone. The club's yeah. way outside the line. Now your hands, yeah. now they've got to start trying to get back in towards yeah. that line and they pull across. And we just smother it low left and then not really much of a twist <laughs> through. <laughs> right, exactly. Rather than this one now. Yeah. Look at that finish. Yeah. There's a bit more of a confident kind of twist and finish yeah. with that. <laughs> twist and finish with that swing. Okay. Yeah. Rather than you kind of stopping. And I think what happens once you lose confidence with any particular club, you yeah. see it with chipping, people get a bit yeah. stoppy because they're scared yeah. of thinning it. Or putting, they get a bit negative. Or with the driver, they get a bit, oh, I don't want to be wrong. Yeah. And they just make the swing... In their head, the less they do, the less wrong it will be. Yeah. And in reality, you have to do more. You have to go for it. Exactly, yeah. But the thing is, you're only able to kind of, as we say, go for it, Alice, is when you actually get the club in a good position to do so. If you swing here and then just lift your arms up, as this first one was doing here now, yeah. if you try and you say, go for it from there, it'd be a horrible shot. It'd be a low smother or a big old slice to the right. So get your, fantastic, right? You get your body swinging better. Yeah, you're going to start getting that, there you go, 150, yeah? You're going to start getting your yardage, well, 151, 52, there you go. You'll start getting your yardage back up, yeah. and then the confidence will increase, and that will obviously sort of snowball effect in that way. But it's the same in the reverse. When you start losing confidence, you get tighter, you feel you're doing something wrong, so you do less to be less wrong, yeah. and it's a snowball effect in the bad way, which causes more and more poor shots. And the thing is... You're good enough, and I said this to you last session, you're good enough to swing the club poorly and still hit reasonable shots. Yes. But when you don't play so much, you haven't got that luxury because you lose a bit of timing and you can't quite do it. Yeah? Last couple of times. I've been miserable, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've been getting a few divots and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Well, this... You know, I, I know I've got the right club to get to the green. Yeah. And then I go and get a divot and then yeah. it's just... Oh. Yeah. But think about that. If you're coming down the steep angle you had there oh, now, oh, like, what are you going to do? Oh, you're digging for oil. It's just... <laughs> Straight into the ground, yeah? yeah. Okay, so more the turn same, same with every club, yeah? More turn and your arms that are going to swing more around your body as a result, okay?